I am so honored to be the recipient of this year's Paula J. Monroe CTA ESP of the Year Award. And I share this award with the other ESP nominees because I know that each and every one of you possesses a deep commitment to education and the children we serve. We go to work every day and give 110% of ourselves in hundreds of ways because that's what support staff does. And in doing so, we too make valuable contributions to the educational day. Whether it's as a bus driver that has a friendly conversation with a child you are transporting to and from school, a paraprofessional that is providing extra support to a child struggling with a new concept in the classroom, the cafeteria worker that feeds a hungry child, the office lady that comforts them when they are sick or hurt and there is no nurse on campus, or the custodian that lets a student back into the classroom to retrieve their forgotten homework after the teacher has left for the day. You are all heroes to that child. I would like to thank the CTA Board of Directors for this remarkable acknowledgement. I have been passionate about union work for over 20 years. And to know that there are people who have noticed and are appreciative of my work on behalf of the students and staff of Culver City Unified School District is humbling. But as we all know, it truly does take a village. And what we've achieved in Culver City has been the result of a group effort. I am grateful for the support of my executive board and negotiations team, Robert Gray III, Stephen Acosta, Marion Serra, Cecilia Fuentes, Mary Beth Paris, and of course, Penny Upton, our amazing CTA Uniserve rep in Region 3. A special thank you to Marion Serra for the lovely letter she wrote on my behalf. That my team felt I was worthy of this nomination touches my heart. I would like to leave you with one final thought. Always remember that for at least one child, their interaction with you will be the high point of their day. Be patient, be kind, and be inspiring. Thank you again for this incredible honor.